Good everybody, welcome back to Mama's Kitchen. Um, tonight we are making um, a favourite of my dad's, again, gotta love dad. Um, he used to get Nan to make melting moments all the time. So I'm going to show you how to make Nan's melting moments. So, I've got 250 grams of softened butter in here. Boop, boop, boop. Can you see that? Brooklyn's got this new machine at the bottom. Watch this. It follows me. <laughs> okay, right. So, 250 grams of butter, and I'm going to add half a cup of, um, what is it? Icing sugar. sugar. Icing sugar into here, and I'm going to beat it up. Now, if you haven't got a beater like this, it's all good. You do have these. So, all you need to do is just, just get your whip on and, and whip it up. So, I'm going to whip this up until it's nice and fluffy, and then I'll show you what that looks like, okay? So, give me a few minutes. All right, can you see me? Is that, can you see me? It's just so weird. Okay, I want to show you this. This is our butter here. Can you see the difference between that and that? Can you see the colour difference? I suppose it doesn't look any different, does it? Just trust me, there's a colour difference. Okay, just the more you whip it, the lighter it becomes. Okay, so yeah, so this is nice and fluffy. That probably took about three or four minutes. I'm going to add some of my daughter in law's flash vanilla essence. About that much, <laughs> that much, right, and I'm just going to go to quick stir, then I'm going to add, mm, yum, that smells so good, much nicer than the cheap stuff that I buy, you see that, right, now I'm going to add one and a half cups of flour, and three quarters of a cup of, of corn flour, so I've got corn flour, and just plain flour and it doesn't matter whether it's a blue one or the green one or the purple one if you're over in the states it really doesn't matter just plain flour is what you need um, and I'm going to sift it so you don't want me to watch watch me sift that so I'm just gonna do that now so I'll see you soon so I've mixed it up and it's nice and fluffy look at that it's beautiful and I've sifted up my flour so I'm just going to add bits of my flour at a time flour and the corn flour Okay, I can't remember how much I told you. Just, you can figure it out. You can read, can't you? Yeah, well, Brooklyn will write off the blurb at the beginning. As usual. Yeah, good on your daughter. So I'm just going to give this a quick mix. And then add the rest. But at a time. Okay, and when I've finished that, I'll show you what that looks like, okay? Because you don't want to watch me do this, do you? you don't watch me. So I'll see you soon. That's all mixed up. They're ready to go. So I've also got two spoons here for me and for Liz. So if she thinks she's going to sit there and look pretty behind the camera while I do all the work, she's wrong. <laughs> so um, I've got my baking paper over here, and I was going to use my reusable... <laughs> like somebody cut it while they had bread on it it's like how hard is it to find good help so um i was going to put that up there there but uh i think maybe it's past it's used by date now i'm thinking maybe i can get a few more uses out of that so i've got my baking paper over here and i can use baking paper because i don't like washing dishes so it's as simple as that makes it easier to clean up and it also stops things from sticking as well and if you want to reuse it then put it in your fire as a fire starter. Right, okay. So give us a few minutes and me and Liz will roll these out, out into balls. And we're just going to use them, make them into small balls. And they have to be uniform balls because you put one biscuit on top of the other. Okay, like similar to the slugs that we made. Okay, so they're just going to be gorgeous little European balls. Okay, that's what we're going to make tonight. Okay, so let us get that done, eh? We've done some of the balls. I sacked Brooklyn. There's some <laughs> massive. Um, I think she was sampling them as well. So after we've after we've rolled them into balls, and they need to be uniform balls because remember they're going to be on top of each other. Then just get a little bit of flour and a cup, and then just press them down like that. If you've got some of the gorgeous little thing that you press them down with, well, that's beautiful. 
We've got a fork. So, oh, uh, so, oh my gosh. <laughs> so, I'm going to put it into an oven. It's 180 degrees, and we're going to bake them for between 12 to 15 minutes. So, we want them to look quite mm, a little bit golden, just a little bit golden and firm, okay? So, let me do these, bake these, and then I'll chuck the rest of them into balls, uniform balls, and we'll go from there, and I'll show you what that looks like soon. After just over 10 minutes, our bickies are done. Can you see them? I'm not going to lift them up because they're really hot, but they, I did lift them up. They're really hot, okay? <laughs> and this is why I use baking paper. Watch this. Oh, dishes are done. <laughs> Sorted. I love that. Okay, so I'm going to let those cool down because we can't ice them while they're hot, otherwise they're going to slide off. I told you about the cake that I made, didn't I? Last time, or sometime. Okay, so I've got a cup of coat of mm, icing sugar and 50 grams of butter, which I've just softened, just softened. And you can tell when it's softened because it just looks shiny. Can you see that? A little bit shiny. Can you see that? Yeah, Brooklyn's going no, no oh, trust me, it's a little bit shiny. And what do I do with my spoon? Here it is. I'm going to get a little bit of hot water from the tap. And I'm going to stick in some of that. She's going to start asking where it is. Has anybody seen my flash vanilla essence? I'll say no, but I'll show you where my cheap stuff is. And I'm going to put that much in. Do you see how much it was? About that much. About that much. About a catful. Right. And I'm just going to slowly add little bits of hot water. You know when you when you mix a cake and you're mixing your butter and your sugar and you want it to be nice and fluffy? Well, this is what we do with this. You know, I'm not into runny icing. I'm into nice big fluffy icing. So the more you beat it, uh, that should do you. Yep. Then fluffier it gets. Can you see that? So I'm probably going to beat that for another maybe minute. And it'll be even fluffier by that time hopefully within the next 10 minutes these little babies are going to cool down a bit and um, then we can ice them and put them together okay so the recipe makes 30 30 biscuits um, which is 15 gorgeous little european sized biscuits okay they're not big maori ones you can tell that this is mine oh, don't do and that that is brooklyn's yep. mine and brooklyn's okay i like maori so biscuits anyway you do Look, if you wanted to, and if you wanted to make it go further and you've got a kid's party or whatever, let them cool down. Let the kids make an icing with some gaudy colour like they always do, and they say it's beautiful, but really it's not. And ice your biscuits and put some sprinkles or something like that that, that they think is absolutely amazing, but you know it's full of colour and it's going to make them go, wah, wah. Anyway, so that's something else that you can do with them. But we are making gorgeous melting moments. So... Give us another 10 minutes, we'll let these suckers cool down and I'll whip this up till it's a, into a frenzy and make it gorgeous and light and fluffy and then we'll put them together and we'll show you what it looks like. Something else as well. So you can see here that they're not quite evenly, evenly browned and things like that. That's because I kept checking the oven. Okay, so in order for them to be the right consistent colour of that gorgeous brown colour all over it, or golden brown colour, you need to keep your oven closed as much as possible and not open it like I did. Just saying. Can you see this glow on me? It's my, my personal glow. Some days I feel like I'm in like uh, Alaska and other days like within minutes I'm in Fiji. I'm in Fiji at the moment. Right, back to the biscuits. Right, remember I showed you that these ones were uneven? These ones are a better colour because I didn't open. Did, can you see this? Because I didn't open the oven. Okay, so these ones are ready to ice. So I'm going to pop these over here to cool down. And then, excuse me. That's good, that should be fine. Where is our icing? Brooklyn's got it. There you go. Eating it. Let's just grab a plate. <coughs> Away. 
and slab it together just like that. Look at that, one little piece of biscuit goodness. So I'm going to finish doing these and then afterwards I'll show you what it looks like when I bite into it. Best part. See you soon. Now I've got just a teaspoon of icing sugar and hey presto, those are our gorgeous melting moments. Now remember also that when you go into a cafe that they're selling these little beauties, yep, they're selling these for probably about three dollars, three bucks, okay. It probably cost maybe mm, three, maybe five. Yeah, maybe four dollars, three, four dollars to make the whole lot. So we'll make 15 bickies. Um, I'm not going to bite this. Do you want to bite it, Liz? Come on, Liz. Come on over here, Liz. Come on, Lizzo. Over here, Lizzo. She's saying no. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Really, this is a really good short, bready biscuit. So it's really light and fluffy. Okay, and it's a bit soft because the icing's soft. So bear with me. Yeah, it's flipping epic. Yum, that's good as. Mate, I'd pay four bucks for that. I'd pay four bucks for that. Anyway, that's us. Have a fantastic week. Don't forget to get your five bucks ready, okay? Five dollars a week is all we're asking you to do, if you want to, that is. And go and purchase some things for your food storage cupboard, okay? And um, it'll be worth it in the end. Anyway, I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are safe wherever you are in the world. Love that you guys are following us. If you like what you've seen, um, despite all my mistakes and bits and pieces and my glowing face, then please share. That's it, isn't it, Liz? That's what we're asking. Share the video. Share the video. That'd be great. Um, and we'll see you next week when we make something else. <laughs> I have no idea what we're going to make. Have a great week. Ka kite